All right, guys, as you can see, we got a priority mail from a company called Gametronics Incorporated in California. This is probably one of the coolest aspects for me. Got to order this online. Ooh. Retron 3 HD. Plays NES, Super NES, Super Famicom. Genesis and Mega Drive games. Looks pretty insane, right? And <laughs> yes, supposedly it's supposed to play all three games. My Nintendo broke a Super Nintendo and my Sega CD, the cartridge area doesn't work. It is from a company in China. I believe that is the brand. That is the company, Hyperkin. Now, Hyperkin actually makes some controllers. And they're pretty good controllers. So it comes wrapped up. And then you have this. So this is the system, we'll take a look at that in a little while. Let's take all of this out, as well as this, and this bottom box here. Throw this aside for a little bit. Comes with a Hyperkin sticker and a card that says play well. You can follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And of course, the instruction manual. So, what came out of it is two controllers.
this controller, Hyperkin, is used for the Super Nintendo side of the system. And this controller is used for the Genesis side of the system. Now, why we took out this box is because of the pieces that's inside. We have a HDMI cable, HD, we have the regular AVI cables, we have a USB, USB mini, this is the power cable. This is the power block. So literally it could use your any of the new phones power cables to run run it off. If you have a phone, because you could probably use that power cable. It is the mini and the USB. And the USB goes into the power block. And then it comes with this. So what this is, is a converter to use your Super Nintendo controller. for your Nintendo system. Which is pretty amazing, right? So why an HDMI and what makes this an HD system? Well, if you use the HDMI, it runs at 720. So what we have here is the reset power buttons and this allows you to, I believe, the NES, the Genesis and the Super Nintendo and these are literally the cartridge slots so if you turn it on this side you got room for two NES controllers or two Genesis controllers you have two Super NES controllers. You have the Hyperkin. I believe it lights up. And two Super NES controllers can be put into the system. And then on the back you have 
what type of system is it? Is it a PAL, the American, or the Japanese, which is that one? And the NES only has regular and PAL. And Genesis only has regular and PAL. So on the back, you got the power outlet, your AV, your HDMI, and I believe that, I'm not sure what that is. Micro port, AV port. It's the aspect ratio switch. Depending on what type of TV you have, you can, I guess, make the screen bigger or smaller. So with my Super NES being broken at the moment and my Genesis, the cartridge based system, this was a pretty cheap choice to go by. It is about $90. The outside is actually more of a dark see-through. You can see some of the components inside. The uh, Hyperkin symbol is supposed to light up. The bottom is a Nintendo gray color. There is a vent system with uh, stands. pretty insane but as a retro gamer it's something I needed so I will try this thing out and let you guys know how well it plays but from what I've been told at first the these things are pretty tight for your cartridges. The Genesis does not get looser, but the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo actually does. And you have little light bulbs here that actually lights up to tell you which system you're currently playing. Anyway, what do you guys think? So, uh, in a few days I should be getting one of my pops in. In a few days the other one should be uh, shipped. And in a few days after that, after I get that, the three Star Wars Black characters should be coming in that I ordered from Hasbro. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of the Retrocon or Retron 3 HD. Again, I'll, I'll keep you guys informed. I'll actually let you guys try and figure out how to show you guys gameplay. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. See you soon.